Alright, boys. Wow. Oh, this is it. This is Fen's workshop. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. <laughs> I kind of get it now. Care all of those logs, though. Oh, wow. This is actually really cool. You don't see stuff like this very much. Not, not anymore. Not nowadays. I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. I can't see anything. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. <laughs> it turned oh. out she was hiding a lot more than that. What the? Yo, what? I can't see anything. That's better. I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh, oh wow. If there's a pattern in all these stories. It's like a bomb shelter. I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. First aid kit. I mean, that's a bathroom. I can barely tell. I can, I can barely even tell on OBS. It is so dark. Hang on, boys. All right, boys. Sorry about that. I can't do nothing about the brightness. I tried. Locomotive. Walter. Oh, okay, so Walter, he did grow old. This must all be his. 52 to 2005. Look at him. Just imagine, like, living through that, though. Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. It's been a week now, the longest in 30 years. I'm done waiting. I have to leave while I still can. Like an, it's like a hatch. Oh, wow.
I know it's out there, somewhere. Whatever killed Barbara. And Molly. Calvin. It's like something about refuse. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. out there I want you to know I'm ready for it I'm going to appreciate all of it especially the food I don't mind if I only have a year left or a month or a single week I'd be happy with one new day I can already imagine the sun on my face Oh, wow. Walter died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. When she was six. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. Bastard. She wanted her to learn the truth. Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house. I can only imagine what else she was hiding. Remember she had that, Edie had that interview about, well, was it something that was living under the house? That's so messed up. I see now why she was laughing though. I the same mistakes she made. So much food. Trying to bury something that's still alive. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left, or maybe two. Maybe two? I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Wow. We did 2 to 2005. That looks like it could be the original house. Look at all the chairs. I don't know if I should even be writing this. That looks like the shoreline and the rock when they first got to the island. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. But I thought you should know about your family. That you, Barbara. That's what he was building. And the history you're a part of. That's what he was building. He was building that thing. Piece by piece.
It looks like at some point in time I need to go over there. What's over here? Though to be honest, I feel as lost as you probably do right now. I think the people in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. History of imagination and stubbornness and madness. It is crazy to think that so many generations lived in this house. Any of it seems possible. Yeah. It's crazy. been surrounded by death for so long we've just gotten used to it what kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house <laughs> yeah great it's granddaddy. embarrassing for me to admit this but the pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one <laughs> Oh wow. Christopher Shadow, Oliver Bob. Three of Shatsy. the gerbils were mine and two had been my fault. <laughs> Zoe Coco, Tucker, Charlie Daisy Lucy, Derpy, Derpy Jr., Burpy, Chirpy, Burpy, Lurpy, Zerpy. Bailey. Bob Christopher Shadow, Oliver Shatsy. Oh, there's the frog. I think it was Rob, right? Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. Barbara Finch. Molly. Sorry, I kind of sure started to tear up a bit. monument had been Edie's idea. My <laughs> mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. That's awesome. Oh, wow. <laughs> Storm to the end. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. That's awesome. side was always easier for me to understand but the older I get the more I can see where my mom was coming from her dad had been pretty strict but it wasn't enough to save her brothers she was just trying to do better she lost two of her brothers just like I did I get why she tried so hard to protect us. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone.
There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday and find everything out for myself. That's what it seems like. Sorry I'm so quiet, guys. It's just, um, I was starting to tear up a bit. This is amazing. But looking back on it now, if she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was 22 weeks pregnant. Oh, wow. Oh, don't, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. <laughs> Old Mud Jugs is uh, bird feeders. That's awesome. Oh, whoops. Wrong side, wrong side. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. Alright, boys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.